Hey guys, my buddy Sean Larman, Jacks RC Recycling and Repair, has set me up with four high voltage servos that we're going to test. And we're going to run them at 8.4 volts through the BEC so we have a little bit of, uh, of consistency on the voltage. So, up first is about 20 bucks for this servo. It's a Hobby King 15298B. It's only 15 kilograms or 208 ounces. They run about 20 bucks. So it's a real economical servo, and he says people like it in their e-buggies and different race vehicles. Let's see what it can pull. Up next, we have the Hobby King HK47903TM. This one has a magnetic induction motor in it, so it should be really neat. And uh, it's uh, 31 kilograms or 430 ounces. Make sure y'all can see this. And uh, they, they run around 37 bucks a piece. So this one isn't really that bad. It's really going to be interesting to see how this servo performs with the magnetic induction. Here we have a Trackstar TS910. This one has a nice metal casing on it around the gears. It comes in at about $35. It's rated for... 30.6 kilograms or 424 ounces of pull. It is a brushless, a brushless servo. So this one also will be something to watch. So TS910. And the most expensive servo is about 50 bucks. This is an Evo T3. Like I said, about 50 bucks. It is brushless and it comes in at about 31 kilograms or 430 ounces. It's going to be interesting to see how these servos stack up because I'm running these things at 8.4 volts which is what your high voltage is for the most part. High voltage usually means 2S LiPo. Now yeah they're 7.4 volts. Guess what? When you charge them up they're 4.2 volts per cell. That's 8.4 volts. So that's what we're going to run these guys at. Let's see what they can do. This is the Hobby King 15298B. We are running the outermost hole. And let's see. That's pretty good. Over 400. And for this thing to only be 208 ounces, that's pretty darn good. It was fading quick, but uh, that's a whole lot stronger than 208 ounces. That's a good little servo. This is the HK47903TM. This is that magnetic induction servo. Let's see what we got here. Over 300, not quite the 430 it says. Well, not quite 300 that time. And it actually held at 272. This is the Trackstar TS910. This one is uh, supposed to be 424 ounces. Stalled out. Pretty quiet. But it actually held at 434 on that second pull. 
This is the Evo T3, 430 ounces. Let's see if they can get 430. Well, 407, that's not too far. Notice how quiet it was. See what we can do again. Wow, 443. I would have to say that servo was good to go. You know, as a surprise, I just have to try this big bad 959V1. There it is on 8.5, 8.4 volts. Let's see what this thing will pull. Reset here. There we go. I just got to see if this thing will survive this much voltage. Let's see. Whoa! I don't think it likes 8.4 volts. Does not like 8.4 volts. Dang. Let's see if I can get just a little bit. Wow. 730 when I eased into it. Wow. 730.2 on the 959. It does not like the 8.4 volts at all, as you guys just saw. But when I eased into it just enough, I was able to get 730. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I just called and spoke to my buddy Sean. I told him about how the old, good old 959 just put the beat down on all these new servos. He asked me, did you put the version 2 on there? I'm like, no, I didn't. I said, well, do you want me to? He says, yes. So let's see if version 2 959 has got anything for us here. At 700 ounces off that old 959. Wow. It didn't like it though. Let's see. This one don't like it either. No. Got it to hold at 684.8 though. These servos don't like the high voltage, but uh. Yeah. All right, guys, there was the high voltage servo test, complete with the two six volt servos that barely survived. Well, I wouldn't say they barely survived, they just really didn't like eight volts. So, these are the servos that were part of the test. Now, the HK47903TM was right here. This one did okay. 320.4 ounces um, that was rated for 430 I mean that's not quite what it was rated for but but then again you know it's my test there so anyway that one survived and then we have the 15298B servo see now this one was rated at 208 this doggone thing put out 407 now, Sean told me that this servo was actually pretty good and people liked it. Well, that's why. It is really strong for its rating. So, yeah, that's a really good servo right there. And here is the Trek Star 910. This one pretty much gave just about what it was supposed to be. I mean, it came out at 437 ounces. Um, according to the conversion, it was 424. So, this one was right where it was supposed to be. Not bad. Then we have the uh, Evo T3 here. This one, according to 
you know, Google conversions and all that, it was 430 ounces. Well, 443. So this one's right on the money too. So happy with this one. And then of course you guys saw these guys just blow those two away. Um, this one is Sean's. This one is mine. I am tempted to see if I can put a high voltage board in this thing and just see how much I can get out of this servo. I mean, maybe ramp this thing up to 12 volts or something. Just see if I can actually break this thing. Maybe a future test. Can the 959 version 1 be broke? Haha. <laughs> we'll have to see. Hopefully you guys like the test and uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. If these videos keep doing good, you know, I get to make more of them. Thank you guys for watching.